here's an extremely fascinating topic about flying cars and it's literally coming true because you can already have pre-orders for this machine behind me which is a flying car so our vision from the 60s and 70s about how the future is gonna be with flying cars is really coming true and you can see this uh, vehicle here with the wings and this is crazy this company already planned for 2025 an actual flying car in production so I think this is something that you already planned for 2025 uh, 2021 21 yes. jesus we so like in two delivering. years yeah. two years three years it's... so could you tell me uh, about more yeah well this is a flying car it's a door-to-door -door, uh, medium distance travel solution which will get you from your garage to the airfield where you can take off you can fly it uses regular fuel it has a standard uh, gasoline engine turbocharged with uh, 300 horsepower power output mm -hmm. you can film the interior it, it looks like uh, like a standard car yeah. uh, you can see it has a uh, kind of a steering wheel which is combined with the uh, yoke from the airplane. What do you think? Who is going to really buy this vehicle yeah. in, in, uh, in two years? What well, uh, car collectors, uh, pilots, uh, enthusiasts, I don't know. You, uh, you need a, a flying driving license? Of course, you need a PPL, which is a private pilot license. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a plane up to 1200 kilograms. Okay. Weight, uh, the takeoff weight of this one is 960 kilograms. Mm -hmm. So the, the the certification for this one is going to be CS23. Uh, it takes two people and a single prop plane. Uh, it has a yes, <laughs> and it has a, a foot prop around the back. And the, and the stop speed or flying speed? Well, the the flying. cruising speed is 260 kilometers an hour. Oh wow! The maximum height uh, it's a uh, three uh, kilometers. Mm -hmm. Okay. So 3,000 meters. 3,000 meters. So you can really fly over the cities and uh, between destinations. Or... Yeah. yeah, it's a medium distance uh, travel, so it has uh, three hours of flight time. So it's uh, at 260 kilometers, it will be still always around 700 kilometers. So you can just land, uh, top up your fuel tank and just continue. And you have already pre-orders, really? Of course, yes. And how much? Uh, I don't think this is a... Uh, oh, you cannot share this, I yeah. see, okay. But it's so fascinating that you're literally doing this because you're making yeah. the, our future vision true. So it's, it's happening, it's very, here. It's, 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 really, it's really happening. It's we say it's better car because it can fly and it, it is a better plane because it can drive the road. And parking is also not a problem. <laughs> yeah, well... You can hang see, it up. <laughs> It's a little longer and a little wider, but that's a compromise between the, the properties that we need for flying. So, if you would compare this to a uh, Mercedes Sprinter, a van, a long one, that would be the same size. So, if that one fits the road, then this one will fit it no problem. Show you how to get in. Fantastic. So, thank you so much. So our future is really, really coming true with the flying cars. It's, it's not a vision anymore. So I tried to get out. Use it's a, uh, it's, it would act as
as an air brake, we have a bumper here, mm -hmm. which folds when it goes to plane mode. And for the road mode, it just unfolds it. It's, it is part of the pre-flight check. Mm -hmm. You do check your surfaces before the takeoff. And we also have a propeller here, folded inside the empennage. Which is again for a road safety and certification, you cannot really have it's sharp edges. It's a, it's a street legal. Well, yeah, the certification goes under the, the legislation of under both worlds. So uh, it is uh, aerospace and, uh, and the road use. So you're fulfilling all the criteria yes. of uh, the road safety, air safety, street legal, air legal. Yeah. Three minutes, and that's the time for the pilot to do your uh, uh, pre-flight check. <laughs> the racing is a good one, actually, just yesterday. Now, what we're going to be doing in November. Yeah. Where is it yesterday? Yeah, uh, unmanned, but yeah, down at Goodwood. Okay. In November, we've got our first manned race. And so that's going to be in the Mojave Desert. And then after that, they start to go into production early next year. It's going to be in production. Yeah. So you can literally race it. Okay. Somebody will be in it, racing it. Five of those, F1 style, going to head. Amazing. Yeah. So you can really just buy it. Or you could buy it if, you're, if you want to own a team. Yeah. But for commercial reasons, so that's not going to be our game. We've got 170 flying car companies out there. They're doing the taxis of the sky. Taxis? Yeah. So you're going to be the first taxi flying taxi. We're going to be the ones that are doing racing. That's good. Yeah. That's very, very interesting. And how is the stock speed? Uh, so these ones, they've been modeled at 230 kilometers an hour, uh, 500 kilowatt batteries, 60 inch blades, uh, 50 kilowatt uh, engines, eight of those as well. So very powerful, but very loud. Oh, uh, so the future is really happening, <coughs> not anymore just the vision. No, we, uh, we grew up with the Jetsons, yeah. being told we're going to have flying cars and all we yeah. got was Twitter. Yeah. So it's time to actually do something about it. Yeah, this is really cool, you know, because we're talking about flying race cars or cars, like, oh, you know, it's somewhere so far and it's just now it's, it's really good did you see yeah.